Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I am back with another video. So I do a load of videos every week. And uh, today's uh, is going to be officially the officially uh, episode number 50. And we're doing a review of Shazam issue 1 of 6. And I am going to say this. I really, really loved the character of Shazam when I first saw him in the Shazam movie that was done in back in 2019, which I think is one of the best superhero movies that DC produced, and I'm really glad I'm not alone in that agreement. So, um, so, Billy Baxton is part of this school that is for teenage uh, metahumans or superheroes, and they're being taught uh, what they need to learn in order to join, like, the Justice League or the whatever. So, what's going on with uh, Billy Baxton when he's Shazam is that his powers are not stable. You know, he can't, he can't say Shazam and his powers activate. He literally... He's literally his powers go turn on and off, on and off. So the so uh, the so the uh, so the Teen Titans are visited by Doctor Fate. Now the Rock of Eternity is the source of all magic. It, uh, it fuels the Chaos Lords, the Order Lords. It fuels Zatanna. Anybody that has magic, it it even fuels Constantine's magic. The Rock of Eternity is the source of where all magic comes from. And because Billy has magic, because he gets his powers from the Rock um, of Eternity, uh, it's not where it's supposed to be. And what people may not understand, may not know about the Rock of Eternity, is half the Rock comes from Hell, the other half comes from Heaven. So, you have that. So, uh, this is why Billy Baxton's powers are not uh, working like they're supposed to. So, Billy knows that with how unreliable his powers are, it could take him weeks to get to the Rock of Eternity. So, a fellow classmate who has this ability, it seems to open up these portals, agrees to take him to the Rock of Eternity. Now, what's really interesting about this academy is everybody knows Billy Baxton is Shazam because he has to have some kind of power set in order to go into this uh, school. So, I really like the concept that Billy is being trained by superheroes that have been in the business for a heck of a lot longer than he has other the others have. And he is called upon a lot of times by the Teen Titans because he is the strongest. Now, we're talking about the mature Teen Titans. We're not talking about like Teen Titans Go. I actually watched the episode in which Billy Baxton was in it, and he was the only serious one that was among them. That is because no matter what you put Billy in, Billy is going to treat threats absolutely seriously. You cannot make Billy super goofy and all that. The the little Teen Titan figures, they they treat everything like a joke, but Billy did not. <laughs> In that episode, he did not um, treat it like a joke. He knew what his adversary could do, and he treated the adversary like, yeah, this is a real threat. Um, but it's a really, really, um, I really do like, um, this cover. Um, when I had decided to, um, when I decided to start buying Shazam comics, I knew that there was going to be a lot of them. So I'm kind of hoping that I can get them all without having to go on eBay. But I probably will end up having to go on eBay at some point. Because I really want to get um, 
No, it, was, it wasn't one of six. It was one of four. Sorry, sorry. It, it'll be on it, the correct thing. Will be on the on the thing. But I do not have uh, two of four and four of four. So I will be trying to find those comics. But overall, I really, really like. Um, I really like this issue a lot. I'm really glad that I got the first issue and not oh they didn't have the first issue. But um, but Shazam he looks really terrified because his powers are not working correctly. He can't rely on them for you know for him to be able to do what he has to do and that is to save people's lives to make things safer and that was why Billy. That's why Billy embraced being Shazam, is that he now had the ability to make the world a little bit better um, and everything. And I really like the character Billy Baxton. I really like his alter ego of Shazam, and that's why I got the comic. So I am going to give this comic five stars. It is a great first issue of this little miniseries. Um, and I'm just, just super excited that I own it. Uh, I... I just, I just love it. So we are officially 50 episodes in to my channel. I want to thank everybody that has watched my videos, everybody that has subscribed to my channel. Uh, right now I'm up to two subscribers, but that's awesome. Thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate it. It means that you like my content and everything. So, um, yeah. So I already have a video for 100 uh 100 episodes um and uh that will be up when i hit when i hit 100 ep well when it becomes the 100th um ep 100th episode so um i will see you guys around uh if you guys like this content as much as i like and love producing it hit the like button if you want to subscribe Hit the subscribe button if you want and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So until next time, um, and uh, my next uh, one will be, um, I think, the first issue of Shazam outside of the miniseries. So I'm really looking forward to getting into that book and reading it. So until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.